Hey gang, I'm in Naperville, Illinois today, back here at Naperville Cemetery. We've been here before, and we're here today on this beautiful sunny day, right in the first week of December. Boy, the weather's gonna be changing soon, so we've gotta get them in while we can. But we're here today to see a very, very unusual marker. Actually, it's a cenotaph. I do not do cenotaphs. Very rare is the time. I like to go to the person's grave, not just a memorial. But in this case, the gentleman who the cenotaph represents is buried very nearby here at another cemetery. So we'll go see it, and then we'll go see him, his grave. But this cenotaph, this marker, so unusual and interesting. Go, let's go take a look at it. I couldn't resist. The man's name was Horace Potter, and he was in the Civil War. He was a surgeon. Now, I want to shout out Deb and Trish because they actually found his picture, which is really interesting. Always like to see the face of the person who we're visiting. It makes it so much more personal and intriguing, in my opinion. Pictures are what it's all about, especially the pictures on the grave. But in this case, in this case, the cenotaph is, it has embedded within it a artillery shell, the same exact shell that ended this man's life. Of course, it's not the exact shell, but it's the same exact type from the Civil War. And it is right up here. There's a larger monument here that commemorates the soldiers in general of the Civil War, 1861-1865. And we'll take a quick look at that. But here, right here in front of this is what I was talking about. Look at that. That is a real artillery shell from the Civil War. At least the head of it sticking out, the warhead, and part of the casing. Take a look at that, guys. And I'm believing that the entire shell is probably intact, of course, inert. But you can see these ribs here. And I'm believe, I, I would believe that the shell is going all the way through this stone. Isn't that amazing? Never seen anything like that, I have to say. There's a horseshoe there. Ah, somebody left it here. It's not part of the... There's a quarter there. We talked about veterans, what the coins mean, the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. The quarter means that you were with that soldier when he was killed. I'm sure po most people don't know that. Anyway, it's a sign of respect. And here is the epitaph on the cenotaph. This shell killed Dr. Horace Potter, surgeon of 105th Illinois Volunteer on June 2nd, 1864 near Kingston, Georgia. Isn't that interesting? And here there's a little hole in the back, almost like the firing pin. Not the firing pin, this would be the, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, <laughs> I'm a gun guy and I can't even remember, but anyway, I'll put, I'll put a little name of the words up. But uh, yeah, very interesting, isn't it? So let's go see his grave and pay our respects to Dr. Horace Potter. We are in Glen Ellen, Illinois right now. We're at Forest Hill Cemetery and we did find the grave of Horace Potter, the surgeon from the Civil War who was killed by a bursting shell. And his grave is right over here. But there are a couple of nice stones that are in pretty good shape. Adjacent his, we'll take a quick look. Newton, Catherine, 
wife of L. O. Newton, it looks like, 1852, passed away. That's a long time ago. And look at this stone. This is an original, and that is in great shape. A little repair to the top, but those repairs look long ago. It's holding up quite well, especially in this climate. Adeline E., wife of W.J. Hamilton died November 4th, 1869, it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. With the curtains or the tassels, the tassels between the curtains, the curtains closing on her life to the next life. And here uh, we have the perfect sunlight uh, coming on an angle to see this as best we can of Horace S. Potter. And there you see what is probably a Union flag with tassels. The inscription is pretty worn away. I'll just leave it to you. This is better than a flashlight, but I'll give you a little background. He represented Danby, Illinois. He enlisted in 1862, and he was killed in 1864, as we know. He was a surgeon, the 105th Illinois U.S. Infantry. He lived in Chicago, actually, Chicago, Illinois, here in Cook County, so very near, probably downtown, or probably west side. 39 years old, married. He was originally from Jerry, New York, and a service record shows three years, mustering in September 5th, 1862 in Chicago. And as we know, he was killed near Axworth, Georgia, June 2nd, 1864, by a bursting shell. So, there it is nice marble marker he's here and you just have to wonder you go boy what are the odds he was probably out with troops looking picking up the wounded and here comes an artillery shell and that's just the bad luck the bad odds that happens and he, he lost his life thank you for your service sir a brave man saving lives so See you later, everybody, and stay safe.